Hey, I'm Alexis Stone, and this is why I wore a fake face for seven months to fool the internet. So I'm a visual artist working mainly online through Instagram, and I am best known for my celebrity transformations as well as my drag alter ego, Alexis Stone. It all started with my celebrity transformations. Throughout the few years of doing drag, I woke up and I said to my flatmate, I'm pretty sure I can make myself look like a celebrity. So first one I did, posted it online, and within 24 hours, it had gone somewhat viral. And there began my sort of healthy addiction of transforming myself into celebrities. One of my favorite celebrity transformations has to be Cher. Um, living icon, which not only gained the approval of hundreds of thousands of people around the world, as well as Kim Kardashian. Each look takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes from having several reference images in front of me to styling the wigs and also sourcing the costumes. First thing I will do when achieving a celebrity transformation is put down the base. Then I restructure my face using highlight and contour techniques. And then the devil is in the detail. So I painstakingly use a very fine nail brush and I paint in the wrinkles, new nostrils, new lip line. And that's really how I achieve this sort of uncanny resemblance in my transformations. The feeling of transforming yourself is the possibility to not only become whoever you want, but to hide and escape. We all want to hide behind a face sometimes, and who doesn't want to be Cher, or who doesn't want to be Charlize Theron? I mean, to go from a six foot two man into some of the most beautiful, iconic women on planet Earth, if even for an hour, um, it's a great escapism. Seven months ago, I began my reinvention project, which has been perceived and translated as the ultimate internet hoax, where I convinced the world that I had had extreme plastic surgery. Partnering up with Oscar award-winning makeup artist David Marty and good friend, we began the lengthy process of life cast, molding, sculpting, and I wore a prosthetic silicone face every day for three months following the beginning project, which was seven months ago. Whilst the face wasn't real, it was real comments from real people, such as, you have ruined your face, you should kill yourself, you're the reason your ex-partner killed himself, what have you done, you're botched, you're a monster. And whilst I was lucky enough to be able to peel that face off, for thousands of people around the world, young teenagers who are trying to achieve their idea of beauty, they are being neglected and bullied online with these really incredibly harsh comments. The main thing I learned throughout this entire project is it took a few gallons of silicone to bring out the monster and also bring out the beauty of people online.